must be very satisfying for an occasion like this to have your work presented. Oh yes, way. it is, it is undoubtedly, because particularly uh, on an occasion like we've just had in the concert, it was, you, we both, myself and the singer, Sylvia O'Brien, we got, you get this feedback from the audience, you know, you know that the, you can hear the reactions positively without being conscious of them. And that, that presses, puts an extra pressure on you to do even better, you know, it's just, it's a wonderful experience. As composer of both yeah. works, for you to be so intimately involved in the performance, oh, yes, that an, an added dimension to the yeah, well, experience? Yeah, that, that certainly was very nice for me, you know, because if you're there playing, uh, you don't have to say anything about how it should go, you know. And it also meant that I'd rehearsed all along with the singer intensively, and uh, who knew it backwards, I may say. Sylvie was just great. The first of the works was Squall, which is a single poem that, of Michal's that I just took and set. Um, as a, as a uh, 60th birthday present for him. And uh, this is the first time it's actually been performed. The work itself is about, uh, the poem itself, is about uh, two people who, it's the kind of squall that blows up between people, you know, sudden row that comes off. And it, it was very nice from my point of view because I have an interest, quite a strong interest, from in, irregularly shaped music and of course something like a squall which blows up periodically and then comes down gives you opportunities to do to use this sort of irregular shaping and I enjoyed doing that. Now the Earlsford Suite is a little bit different because that of course is originally an orchestral work and this, this is a piano version made from the original short score and uh, it worked, it, it worked well, I was very very happy with the way it went and uh, it's both in that and in The Naked Flame they're not alone just songs but I enjoy writing as well as I possibly can for singers you know because I enjoy working and, and I, I've had a long experience of singers both uh, as solo singers and in choirs and with the result that I, I, I have had a feeling for a long time of what in fact a singer needs to come with it and this, this singer came with it just superbly today. Well I've known Michal for quite a, a long while you know and uh, I can't remember where we originally met, but it would have been around about the time when Aesana was started. He was, he was also in, in, in that from the beginning, like myself. And it was uh, through knowing him and then reading his poetry and, and just, uh, I, I knew that it would be a real possibility. And there's another person that, that really deserves great mention here in this respect. Uh, both in terms of the, the Naked Flame and uh, the Earl's Fruit Suite. Uh, well, she wasn't quite, no, she wasn't involved in the Earl's Fruit Suite, just, just the Naked Flame. And also other works that I've, I've written on poems of Brendan Canelli, and that's Jane Carty, who was in RTE at the time, and who commissioned uh, not alone the songs, but commissioned poems for the songs, with my agreement actually, commissioned particular poets for the songs, first Brendan Canelli and then later Neho Lashiel. It's great to have works published and available. That makes a very big difference, you know. Even, it, it's not, a, not just a question of the size of the publication, but of, the, of it just being available at all. And uh, I'm very pleased with the publication, and in particular, I'm very pleased with the thing that Holmes Farhat remarked about in his introduction earlier, namely that uh, it is kind of a first in a sense with having the publication of the 
of the songs, complete, not just in sections or illustrated, and also a lengthy scholarly introduction to them, which goes into them in great detail in many ways and is, is an excellent piece of work by my wife Lorraine.